Oh, both of you. security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. Stay with me, Max! They could replace these on Monday morning. This code should get us into the portal. See, the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah! Oh, shit! Oh,
You're gonna be able to fix this or what? Give me a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. He should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. Right, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Max! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building, for what that was worth. I'm a self-righteous pain in the ass, but I'm not above embezzling office supplies. Graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they have the common touch. seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senor Branco, open up! I'm going to try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew there was another way in upstairs for the helipad, the little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! Rodrigo! Rodrigo!
Of course he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, something caught my eye. Figures. <laughs> Only blind luck it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. If I wasn't immolated, I was gonna get crushed to death. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. There's no way one bomb could have done all this unless the place was made of gasoline. This whole joint must have been rigged. The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. They'd be serving me up in a churrascaria at this rate. Rodrigo or not, Fabricast Bronco is falling apart quite literally. He had bullets in his gun. He should have shot himself and ended the pain. This didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hellhole. Come on. 
way out was to use that filing cabinet. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. <laughs> 